Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to draw a labelled histogram in R. So first of all, I'm going to need some data to show what we're doing in this video. And the data that I've chosen is taken from two researchers called Sokol and Hunter, who in 1955 measured the wing lengths of 100 of common houseflies. And uh, th those data I have stored in a file called uh, 33 underscore data file .csv. If I check on the files tab on the right hand side in my R Studio, I've got that file listed in my um, working directory on the right hand side. So let me click on the file name. Two options, I'm going to choose to view the file. So let's view the file. And in the uh, tab over here on the left hand side, we can see that there's one variable in this data set. That variable is called length. So the first row is being used up by the variable name. And as I said, there are 100 house flies, so that goes from row 2 down to row 101. And these are the wing lengths of the 100 flies. So I would like to be able to visualize uh, these data in a histogram. So let's go ahead and do that. So my uh, code here on line 6, 7 and 8 is the code that will read that data file into R and store the uh, details of the file into a vector called length wing. So let's go ahead and run those three lines and we can see in the global environment that we've created a new vector called length wings which has 100 observations of one variable as we have just seen. So the um, simplest way to draw a histogram is to use the hist function. So h-i-s-t function. I'm going to refer to the vector name first l-e-n-g-t-h wings and I must also then even though there's only one variable in the data set I have to actually um, mention that variable name. So length dollar sign wing length wings dollar sign length should plot the chart for me. So let's go ahead and click the run button. And over on the right hand side in the plots area of our studio, we can see that we have a histogram being plotted here. I'm going to zoom in on this. There's a button in our studio called zoom. And this just gives me a clearer, more neat picture of what the histogram looks like. And we can see the default color is gray. We can see that frequency on the y-axis, that's fine. We are okay with the frequency because that's the number in each uh, category. Um, it has uh, created 10 bins for me here by default. And the X label is called the variable name, length wings, dollar sign length. And the heading on the histogram is histogram of length wings, dollar sign length. So I'd like to be able to change the heading and the X label. I'm going to leave the Y label alone uh, because that's precisely what it should be. I'd also like to take a look at changing the color of the histogram and also the number of bins. So I'm going to close this down and uh, write up my code again to plot, um, add in three things first. I'm going to add in a main heading for my histogram. I'm going to change the X label to wing lengths and I'm going to change the color to red. So hist again, L-E-N-G-T-H-W-I-N-G-S, wing length wings, dollar sign, and the only variable, again, this is, this is the same as we've done before. But this time I'm going to put in a comma and press enter to move down to the next line. And the way to indicate a um, heading on your on this and many diagrams in R is to use the main parameter, so M-A-I-N equals, and in inverted commas, whatever you want the heading on, the, on your diagram to appear. So I'm going to put mine down here as house, fly, wing lengths, I could put down so called and hunter and so on. After the inverted commas, put in another comma. I'm moving down to the next line. You don't have to do this, but I'm doing it so that we can see everything here. Um, then I want to change the X label to something a bit more meaningful than the variable name that you see in the bottom right hand side uh, at the moment. So the X lab is the parameter for this. Equal to, again, in inverted commas, whatever you want it to be. Uh, I'm going to call mine wing lengths. And the uh, measured in millimeters, so I'm going to put that in as well. After the inverted commas, put in another comma. And I mentioned that I want to change the color. So the call parameter is equal to, let's put in a nice red color in here. Um, I'm OK. Let's review the code. And I'm OK with this code. So press the Run button. And we can see now that our um, diagram on the bottom right hand side of R has changed. Let's zoom in on it to get a closer look. And we've got a nice bell-shaped red histogram here proper heading on my histogram. Frequency is the same, I didn't change that. And the X label at the bottom is changed into something more meaningful for somebody who's reading this diagram in a report or an assignment that you might be preparing it for. Now you'll note here that there are uh, 10 bins here. Each category uh, it has got a number of um, millimeters in it. So 
or has figured these out for us. So supposing I want to control that or change it, and let's say we wanted to change that to from 10 to 20 bins. So that's very straightforward to do. Let's close down this diagram. And in my code, I'm going to add in a, a final parameter, put in a comma after the last uh, color parameter here. And just type in a number. You don't have to put in bins equal to or anything like that. Just type in a number. You can see it's showing up in blue on my screen here. So let's go ahead and rerun this piece of code and zoom in on the diagram. And you can see that has now added in 20 bins onto our diagram here. We've still got the same heading as before, the same uh, X label, the same Y label, and we can now control the number of bins and control the color of the diagram. And uh, so that we can see here that we've got an almost perfect bell-shaped diagram that this data set is known for. So that's how you plot a, a histogram, a labeled histogram in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.